The Empire knows that there's power in numbers, and they put that adage into practice with their TIE fighter squadrons. These cheap, poorly armed and armored starfighters aren't much threat alone, but get a group of them lined up and pointed in the same direction, and they're suddenly taking down enemy ships with ease. Wave 1 has duplicates of both ships included in the X-Wing Miniatures game core set, the X-Wing expansion and TIE fighter expansion. Much like the X-Wing expansion with the amazing Wedge Antilles pilot card, the TIE Fighter expansion contains a pilot that you really need to have if you want to build an effective TIE Swarm. TIE Fighters are one of the most maneuverable ships in the game. They've got turns at speeds 1 to 3, banks at 2 and 3, and straights from 2 all the way up to 5. Rounding out their options are K-turns at speeds 3 and 4. TIE Fighters can get into the fight quickly and stay there pretty easily. All of the TIE Fighter pilots in this expansion have the same stats. 2 attack, 3 agility, and 3 hull. TIEs are hard to hit, but when they do suffer damage, they have a good chance of being turned into a fireball pretty quickly. On the action bar, all TIE Fighters have focus, barrel roll, and evade. The standard TIE Fighters upgrade bar is blank. Some of the pilots have an elite talent option, and of course all TIEs can equip a single modification upgrade, which does give them some decent build options. Howl Runner is the top TIE Fighter Ace Pilot included here, and she's the reason to buy this expansion. She costs 18 points, has a pilot skill of 8, and she can equip an elite talent, but it's her ability that makes her amazing. When a friendly ship within range 1 of Howl Runner attacks with its primary weapon, it can reroll one die. If you want to build a swarm of TIE Fighters, Howl Runner needs to be in there, plain and simple. TIEs only roll two attack dice, but with Howl Runner around, it's almost as if they have three. Even better, a TIE flying in formation with Howl Runner with a focus token will roll two attack dice, reroll a miss if necessary, and then convert any focus into hits. This combo gives TIEs a very good chance of ending an attack with two hits. Because of her awesome ability, you're going to want to equip Howl Runner with some defensive upgrades because she'll be flying with a big target on her head. Stealth Device with the evade action is probably the best choice, making her very hard to hit. The Predator Elite Talent is nice for her, since it lets her also reroll an attack die. You could literally trash everything else in this expansion and just keep Howl Runner, and it'd be worth the 15 bucks. Don't do that, of course, I'm just saying. Backstabber costs 16 points and has a pilot skill of 6. When he attacks from outside his target's firing arc, he rolls an additional die. Extra attack dice are always good, and if he gets into range 1, he can roll a total of 4 attack dice. TIE Fighters have the maneuverability to get optimal positioning against enemy ships. Backstabber isn't great as part of a swarm, you'll want to fly him as a flanker to take advantage of this ability. Winged Gundark is the last unique pilot you get in this pack. He's got a pilot skill of 5 and costs 15 points. When he attacks at range 1, he can change one hit into a critical hit. This is an okay ability, but old Gundy here is definitely the worst unique pilot in this pack. Crits are only good if they land, and since Rebels have loads of shields on their ships, a lot of your crits will have the same effect as a regular hit, making this ability pretty heavily situational. Sure, if you can get him close to an unshielded enemy ship, he can potentially do some damage, but he might also get destroyed long before he has the opportunity to make use of his ability. This pack also includes one copy each of the three non-unique pilots that come with the core set of the game. The 14-point Black Squadron pilot, who can equip an elite talent upgrade, and has a pilot skill of 4. The 13-point Obsidian Squadron pilot with a pilot skill of 3, and the 12-point Academy pilot with a pilot skill of 1. Academy pilots are the foundation of most TIE Swarm builds. You can get 6 of them, along with a loaded up Howl Runner, in a 100-point game. This expansion only has two upgrade cards, both of which are elite pilot skills. The first is Determination, which is also included in the core set. This one-point upgrade lets you discard a face-up damage card with the pilot trait immediately without resolving its effect. The other upgrade is Swarm Tactics, which is included in the TIE Advanced expansion as well. This lets you choose one friendly ship at range 1 at the start of combat and give it the same pilot skill as your ship until the end of the phase. It costs 2 points. One interesting combo is to run Howl Runner and a Black Squadron pilot both with Swarm Tactics along with 4 Academy pilots. At the start of combat, Howl Runner shares her pilot skill of 8 with the Black Squadron pilot, who then shares his temporary skill of 8 with one of the Academy pilots. As I said, 
If you want to play the Imperials, you're going to want a bunch of TIE Fighters. The best way to bulk up your collection is to buy multiple core sets, since you get two TIEs plus another X-Wing for less than the cost of three individual ships. You definitely need one TIE Fighter expansion as well, just for Howl Runner, and possibly extra copies of Swarm Tactics. Three core sets and one TIE Fighter expansion will give you all the TIEs you'll need to run a variety of fun Swarm builds. Alternatively, two core sets and three TIE expansions gives you the same number of TIEs with extra copies of Swarm Tactics if you want to experiment with Howl Runner and multiple Black Squadron pilots for a Swarm that shoots early during combat, which can be very nasty. Even if you're not interested in building a TIE Swarm, this expansion is still worth grabbing because Backstabber with Stealth Device can be a very effective, cheap flanker in any Imperial Squadron. Thanks for watching the Cardboard Dungeons X-Wing Ship Reviews. We'll see you next time.